everyone and welcome to another tutorial for the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC 1. So this is going to be on how to get all the new like clothing items for the game. So once you go to the Isle of Armor you're immediately given the style card and with that obviously you can go to any boutique in the Gala region and there should be carrying new items. As this person's going on about there's some new stuff to grab. So if you go to the bottom you'll be able to see that there's some new clothes you can buy and you'll have the like shiny sparkles next to it which means you can purchase now, I don't know if, like if every single one has you new know, cuz it looks like obviously only certain things are like there's some new hats like not every category is going to have things for each shop so I can grab this hat And it looks like it's just hats and t-shirts for this. But I'm going to jump to the next boutique. Okay, so the next boutique happens to be in Motorstoke. And we're going to go check out what this one has to offer. I'm not sure if it's going to have that same repeat dialogue on the style each time, but that doesn't look like it. Yep, there's more obviously to gain. Oh, that's actually a really cool GMX Gengar one. It looks like they're just listed off by casualty. I'm actually going to put that one on. That one looks like it's sporting full apple or appleton. That looks like Grim Snarl. Then these... Uh, no, I'm not done. Oops. Let's see, they got any parkas. No trousers, no socks, no boots. There are more hats, so here's some bucket hats. No shades and no gloves for this one. To the next town. Okay, so it looks like the next boutique is on the west side of Hammerlock. Let's see what they got. Looks like they just got one casualty. They got some vests, some punk vests. This is too expensive. No hats, no glasses, nope, just that one t-shirt in this shop. Next shop on the list is the one in Surchester, which should be just right up here. Let's see what they got to offer. So they got some fancy sweaters. They are actually starting to get a little expensive. Oh, they are really expensive. Oh, start buying. Got a cute little ice cube one. There you can get the Chairman Rose vests. Next best. Come in all sorts of colors. Did not mean to put that on. Oh, these sweaters all got little designs on them.
Looks like we have some new pants. And some new shoes. Those are those are those are some big feet. No new bags, no new hats, no new gloves. I guess I'm a fancy boy now. I must stop being just a Winden. And this little alley should be the last boutique that we can potentially get new items from. Those like little creamies. Looks like this has got some very expensive jackets. I used to bust out all the gold nuggets. So that one's kind of snippy. I like that one's snazzy. Looks like you got some denims. I'm actually gonna have to go sell all those nuggets from the Wi-Fi event they hosted. Barely snake by with nothing left. Looks like a new set of loafers, too. So they do have new bags. Yeah, I don't I don't have that in my bank account right now, so can't purchase them. But it looks like there are some gloves. Oh, some new gloves. Looks like some just generic colored ones. Not too fancy. Characters just like, why are you draining my bank account? I don't even think with all the stuff I can sell in my inventory, I can buy all the bags. After selling my entire life savings away, I can. Buy about maybe two bags. But they are pretty cool bags. Run through each of the combinations real quick. I think for now I'm only going to be able to pick up this one because I like the combo of red and black. I'll pick the white red. And I kind of have to save my money to buy other stuff for the DLC, so. Let me escape. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed me showing off the new clothing items available in DLC 1 of Pokemon Sword and Shield. If you liked, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Other than that, thanks for coming out.